In this video, we'll talk about how to change the units in your model and how to fix it when you messed up the units. Coming up. So the problem pops up. We've got this part built, but it's too big. So these numbers 0 0.02, 0 0.035, those are all correct. It's just the fact that it might say inches or millimeters when it shouldn't. This is actually the right scale. This is the right size, and that's way too big. Let's talk about how to fix that. Okay, first and easy option, modify scale. I just scale the entire component. I select the entity, I multiply it by 0 0.03937, that's the multiplication factor. Now my model should be fine. We'll go ahead and convert it to millimeters, and everything should look generally correct. I look at this, 0 0.541 millimeters. As soon as I go back to my first sketch, everything is huge. These are millimeters, but this is massive. This is much bigger than what I had intended. It's, it's 38 millimeters, and that's 25 times too big. So you scale if you do not care about the previous features. In fact, if you could get rid of all of them and just have the geometry, that's what scale is doing. Typically, the real problem for people is they need a working model, they need to make a drawing, they need all the dimensions, they need it all correct, then yes, you need to do this correctly. Scale will not help you. Okay, the first thing I absolutely wanna do is save this file. I'll save it, and I'm gonna give it a very descriptive version. So I'll say new toggle in inches, excuse me, in millimeter. Great, okay, that's done. Now what I wanna do is I need to bring up every single dimension that's in this part. So, really cool. Here's how you bring up all the dimensions, all the parameters within your file. So go to Modify, Change Parameters, and I turn on all of my parameters. I'll begin with the sketch. You can see that it's in millimeters. Excuse me, you can see all the values and you can see the inches unit. So the first thing is all of these values are their right number. They're just the wrong unit. So actually pretty easy. I'm gonna do MM on each one. I hit tab and it takes me to the next row. And I'm just gonna go through these, filling out MM. Okay, when you get to an angle, Degrees, that's the same either way. Don't touch degrees, don't touch your angles. And I had messed with this dimension already. This is incorrect, so I need to convert it. Great, I'm gonna do the depth. I'll hit okay, and I should see, I'm gonna roll back and test that the first sketch and extrude have solved okay. They're looking pretty good. That's what that first feature looks like in my model. So now if I continue to solve, or excuse me, I continue to fill out all the values, And here's an interesting one. Be sure if you have a negative value, keep it negative. Most likely it's a distance, uh, an extrusion distance that was purposefully put in as negative. There we go. That looks better. And do a scan of your values. Make sure they all look generally the same. If you notice that something is... 10x or 100x bigger than it's supposed to be than the rest of the dimensions, then it might be wrong. At least just look through the values that they make sense to you. Hit OK. Rebuild the model. I like to rebuild it step by step. You don't have to do that, but I'll do, there's the first feature, a couple features actually I skipped, and mirrored looks great. Looks like there is a message, a warning. Um, this compute failed, let's look at that. It's failing to solve a dimension. I'll edit the sketch. Oh, so it looks like it's failing to put in a little shelf like it's supposed to have. So what I'll do is delete that. 
Sometimes it's easier to resketch things when they're not solving correctly versus fighting with replacing all the relationships. Looks good. Project. There. So now that I've solved that sketch or just fixed that sketch, it looks like everything is solved correctly. I think it's uh, it's probably unavoidable when you make a full conversion of a part to the right values that every sketch is working perfectly. Every sketch constraint is solved perfectly. So keep that in mind. So now that the tree is finished, it looks good. I'll be sure to save this as the latest and greatest version. So this is how you fix a model that you messed up on the units. Thanks for watching.